Yes. Okay, so I got another video for you uh, using the calculator. And I wanted to show you how to do this linear regression stuff on the calculator. So I have, you know, this is an old quiz from a previous class, but I can show you. it works pretty much the same. Um, the first thing you want to do is you make sure you have what's called diagnostics on. So to do that, we go to our catalog, and we're going to go down to diagnostics. So it's everything's here. So I'm going to skip to D, and then I can scroll down. There we go. And I'll say, oops, went too far. Diagnostic on. So let's hit enter and enter again. Great. <clears throat> okay. So what we got to do to use the linear regression on the calculator is you have to put both these things into lists. So to do that, we're going to go into stat. Under stat, we have uh, uh, edit, right? So we have edit, which you're going to put stuff in lists. You have calculate, where you're going to do stuff. What we're going to use now and tests, uh, which we're going to use later in the class. So, okay, under edit, let me go to list one. And I'm going to put the, well, I guess my least squared regression line. So, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find the predicted cost of a pizza when I'm given the CPI. So, this list is my X and this list is my Y. So in list one, I'm going to put in my CPI. Probably should have done this beforehand, but so be it. And then here, my cost of a pizza. So 15 cents, 35 cents, dollar. Okay. So once we've done that, Together, what we're doing, and then it well, it's very quick actually, right? So we're going to go back into stats, and we're going to calculate linear regression ax plus b. and it gives you your r and your r squared. But um, I guess for this particular way, just getting the regression line, it tells you what your a and your B is right here. So I guess now that they give me my A is this and my B is this to get my least squared regression line, I guess. Equals point zero one X. And it looks like we have a negative. But anyway, so that's how you get your A and your B just with the calculator. You notice that R correlation coefficient is there, and so is R squared. All right, um, I say I think that's easy enough. But if you have any questions on any of that, um, I guess just let me know. All right, thanks. Bye.